Hi guys, Mike here from Mikey Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Logitech G533 Wireless DTS 7.1 Surround Gaming Headset. Now, the price tag for these are around 130 to 140 pounds, so they are within the higher tier of PC gaming headsets, but they're certainly not the most expensive. So, let's take a look around the box and see what the features and specifications are. So, we'll start on the back. So, uh, as is pretty much already stated, they are 7.1, so expensive cinematic gaming with Pro-G audio driver technology and 7.1 DTS headphone X surround sound. Underneath says 15 slash 15, so wireless freedom with up to 15 hours of battery life. Uh, there's a little asterisk there, so that's battery life measured at 50% volume and a 15 meter wireless range, which is pretty good. And also here, soft sports mesh ear cups are comfortable for long gaming sessions and can be removed for cleaning. That's pretty good. Now on the very bottom, it does state here for the compatibility Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8 and Windows 7. And uh, you will need a USB port. And then finally on the side, let's see if we can see here. Okay, so some of the specs for the headphones. The driver is a Pro G40 millimeter. Uh, we've got frequency response between 20 uh, hertz to 20 kilohertz. The impedance is 32 ohms. Sensitivity, 107 de uh, decibels. Charging cable length, two meters. That's a pretty good length. Battery life, as already stated, 15 hours with the wireless range, 15 meters. With the microphone here, the pickup pattern is uh, cardioid, undirectional, Type pressure gradient electric condenser, size 4mm and frequency response 100Hz to 20kHz. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing. Which way? Um, ah, there we are. So first to come out is the wireless adapter. Some people call it a wireless dongle. With uh, quite a bit of plastic wrap. I'll do a little panning shot for that. Uh, it's quite well wrapped. Take this middle part here. So here we have the two meter long uh, micro USB cable and once again they've uh, they've put the the logo which is pretty nice makes it feel less generic Ooh. and the headphones ah I see so in here we have the instruction manual which is hiding away So here is the headset. Now one thing I noticed instantly when handling these, just how far these twist around. This is actually a good thing. So if you want to rest these from your ears and just have them around your neck, basically just pop them like that and they'll rest nicely on your shoulders. So that's a really good feature to have. As for the construction and style, so first of all, let's go with construction. It is quite plasticky as you can, as you can hear there, but that's not to say it's a bad construction. Um, it's a little bit, little bit flexible, not a lot but at the same time it doesn't feel cheap. With the style, I really like the, the way the design's going here, so up the, the, the majority of it, like the top of the headband, is a matte finish and then the logo in gloss, but on the side of the ear cups, you've actually, well, a fingerprint magnet, that's for sure, uh, you've got more of a, a gloss um, that's overwhelming this bit here, and the logo in matte. So just in general, the, the style of these, they're simple but stylish. As for the padding, they are soft, but not, um, how, how to describe, it's almost like touching a dry sponge, which is not exactly my favourite, but this is probably something I'll get used to. In general though, they are very soft, which should be uh, quite comfortable to wear. As for the features around the headset, there's absolutely nothing on the right ear cup, but on the left you have a microphone which drops down here, and it also extends out, and provides a bit of flex there which is quite a, a unique uh, like compared to the other headsets I've, uh, I've got I've got nothing like that that is pretty cool 
Then on the bottom, you have the micro USB port there. So that's either connecting your uh, these to your uh, PC or charging. We also have a volume wheel there, as well as the on and off, an LED indicator, and the G button, which is for the, the muting of the microphone. For those who are wondering what the microphone quality is like, well, you're hearing it right now. This is directly from the Logitech G533. So I do want to add that setting this up wirelessly involved going on the official website because the instructions were so vague. It didn't state anything within how to set it up wirelessly. Basically, you have to insert the wireless adapter into your PC, then press and hold a pin through the pinhole until the adapter flashes. Then you have to turn on the headset and hold the G button down for 15 seconds until it goes to the pairing mode. Also, once paired, you will need to download the Logitech gaming software to reap the full benefits of this headset, such as the 7.1 audio. The software has a brilliant 7.1 example and my lord, can you hear the directional sounds with almost pinpoint precision. It really is incredible. And for those bass lovers out there, you will not be disappointed, I guarantee. You can really feel the boom. So, just before I go on to um, the, the other bits, I just wanted to show you a quick example of the range. Now, this isn't going to be an amazing example, but at the moment I'm in my room, which is upstairs in my house. So I'm actually going to walk downstairs and um, you will see that it will still be connected and you're going to be able to hear me fine. So at the moment I am walking downstairs. So that means that it has to go through a couple of walls. Uh, I'm downstairs right now, and you know what? I'm going to push even further by going into the kitchen. Once again, more walls to deal with. So I'm in the kitchen, and now I'm going to walk back up. So even with me being quite far away from the wireless adapter, the audio quality is actually really, really good. And, uh, whew, my God, I am unfit. So yeah, back in my room now. Okay. Back onto what I was going to say. So when it comes to headset features, there isn't really much cover. All I can say is that the controls, uh, just just basic. You have a volume wheel and a G button, which by default mutes the microphone. Though you can assign it to a different command if you wish. Another thing to add: the microphone automatically turns itself on when you flip it down, and vice versa. As for comfortability. It is comfortable, but it certainly isn't the most comfortable headset I've worn. In fact, I much prefer the PS4's Platinum headset for comfortability, uh, though it's a shame that these aren't compatible with the PS4 because these, in terms of audio quality, are like so much better than the Platinum headset. They really are. But um, maybe the, um, the ear pads are something that I will get used to. Who knows? Time will tell. All in all, this is definitely a headset to consider. Uh, the just pretty much everything about it is just really good. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you uh, have enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.